Well, a great athlete with a great mind is one powerful thing. Jovan Miller is best known around here anyway, is a multi-sport athlete, first at Christian Brothers Academy, then starring at Syracuse University. But as I recently found out, he is one heck of a teacher too. At LaBrandi Stadium has seen so many tremendous athletes, Paulus to Williams to Scott and so many more in between. But perhaps the most unique, Joe Von Miller, a stud football and lacrosse player at Christian Brothers Academy, choosing to ultimately play the latter. And what a decision that turned out to be. Joe Von Miller thinking about a dunk, goes up high. What does the game of lacrosse mean to you? Honestly, I look at it as a, a it, was, it like saved my life in, in some regards. I think athletics has that way of doing that, but uh, but for me, it was definitely a safe haven for me, and I, I, I'm incredibly grateful that I made the decision to go the lacrosse route as opposed to the football. He won two national championships during his time with the Orange, but that's not what he's most proud of. Rather, it meant a whole lot more to Joe Von Miller being a black athlete playing a predominantly white sport. In retrospect, I look at where we were uh, and where I was as a player and look where I was as a, a young man at the time, and... I was very fortunate to have some teammates that really, really understood that um, that I was to be, be protected. And it wasn't like I had to tell them that. I feel like they they naturally knew that. Now, it would have been nice to have some, some more conversations like this, but of course we didn't have situations like this happening either. Now more than a decade later, he still finds himself being a voice for the black community, peacefully protesting here in downtown Syracuse on the heels of the George Floyd murder hoping to teach you something, only if you're willing to listen. For us to get to the middle and us to start understanding one another a lot better, open conversation is going to have to be the way. The sad nature of what we're dealing with right now is that it took a global pandemic for the world to stop and see something that people of color, blacks and people of color have been talking, like speaking about our experience since the very beginning of our time in America. One of the popular alibis, it seems like, uh, for, for people who do not want to address what the issue is. He is an educated voice for change, producing daily history lessons on his Instagram page, teaching us all what it really means to be black in America. Next Tuesday, I want to report on my desk. The world is finally listening. Everybody's ears are open, their hearts are open. Um, of course, you're going to always have an anomaly. You have some people over in the corner. But I think this is it's just too important of a time. You know what I'm saying? For us to miss the boat. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that Joe Von Miller is now teaching our next generation. I reside in Charlotte, North Carolina. I am a uh, middle school teacher. Come to find out, I thought I, I didn't really, I was like pretty good at it. You know, I, like I was really, I've never been more nervous in front of, 30 kids as opposed to playing in national championship with millions of people at home. I've never been more afraid or more nervous. A true leader in every sense of the word, now using his own words to do just that, lead. If I jump right now, I might shake, you know, the China cabinet behind me, but I don't think anybody across the street is going to feel it. But if everybody's jumping together, we might create a wave. And Lauren, Joe Von Miller, one of the most intelligent individuals I have ever <laughs> interviewed in my almost 10 years of television. I really respect the fact that he's trying to continue this conversation on social media. Yeah, so absolutely. if you are interested, check out his Instagram, his Twitter page, Facebook, a lot of good stuff that a lot of us need to hear. Yeah, that's definitely for sure, Matt. Thank you.